Mr. Koretz, uh, item 20. Yes, I just had a question for the uh, proposed appointee if he's here. Do, yes, Commissioner, please come forward. Well, thank you, and I have no objections to your appointment. I think you're well qualified, but I do want to ask a question about uh, what your approach is to the rate of return and whether you consider anything beyond just your fiscal responsibility to the pension system as opposed to your future pensioners while they work for the city of Los Angeles and the significant impact uh, that we have when we change those assumptions. Thank you very much, Councilman. Uh, I appreciate the question. I think it's an important one because we grapple with that at the pension fund. What should our rate of return be, the assumed rate of return? As you know, it's been at seven and a half percent. We reduced it to seven and a quarter percent. And the reason for that, the two major reasons for that are twofold. First of all, um, as I'm sure you know, uh, our mortality tables have changed. <clears throat> the science of medicine has advanced and people are living longer. Um, uh, that uh, creates a situation that's very fortunate on the one hand, but the economic impact is not insignificant, as you've seen. Certainly. The second issue is uh, another one that's uh, uh, well known, and that's that inflation has uh, been down. Uh, and uh, the impact of that on all of us is a positive thing, but on our rate of return our assumed rate of return is a negative thing. So we assumed that inflation would be at three and a quarter percent. We've had to adjust that assumption down to three percent. And that's where you see the majority of the uh, drop from seven and a half percent to seven and a quarter percent, which is our assumed rate of return. Now, for the last 20 years, uh, our rate of return has been about seven and a half percent, 7.52 percent. Um, last year, I think it was, this is uh, unaudited data, but I think last year it was 12.8%, which is wonderful. But going forward, we had to be cautious and uh, um, uh, take these very serious assumptions, the mortality tables and uh, the inflation rates into account. And that's why we reduced the assumed rate of return from a seven and a half to a seven and a quarter. I just I hope you'll consider the other side of that, that uh, as we continue to reduce the rate of return, we obviously impact the city budget in a very negative way. And since we have a 20 year experience that seven and a half percent was a perfectly good rate of return, I'm hoping we don't see a, a continuing drop in the future without taking that into uh, account seriously. I mean, there's nothing really that indicates to us long term that we can't maintain that seven and a half percent to, you know, based on our experience. So I uh, just want to hear that you're willing and open to consider Absolutely, that side Council. as well. Absolutely, Councilman. Thank you very much. It's a very important point. I, I should say that CalPERS and CalSTRS are at seven percent. Um, and there's another pension fund in the state that's at 6.8 percent. Um, seven and a quarter percent we think is a cautious uh, number, but certainly we don't want to put the city under any kind of burden that it shouldn't be under. And, and uh, we're with you. I mean, we, we believe the same thing you believe. And, and our pensions are not unreasonably funded now, so I, I don't think we're in a terrible situation that was would warrant further decreases. So I just hope you'll Keep that in, in Thank mind. you very much. We're actually extraordinarily well funded. We have uh, 94, uh, we're at 94 percent, which is better than most pension funds in this country, I believe. So We've certainly done. less of a reason to go further in the future. So I thank you for your consideration and, and encourage an I vote to uh, approve your, your appointment. Thank you very much, Councilman. I appreciate that. Thank you. Mr. Krikorian. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I just wanted to follow up uh, on Mr. Kretz's points and thank you for your comments regarding the rate of return. Um, I'm a little uh, perplexed by the relationship um, that you're identifying between 
the mortality rate and the assumed rate of return in that the mortality rate is already assumed in the actuarial analysis of what the long-term pension obligations will be. So in my view, that should not be a factor at all in evaluating assumed rate of return because it's already built into the formula. And the actuaries will take that into account as they assume what the what the obligation will be. So, I would hope, and I, I agree with Mr. Kretz's sentiments and his questions, both about your qualifications and about this particular issue. Um, but I would hope that you will, whether this uh, reduction takes place uh, in the future, I would hope that it, before any other decisions were made about that. Um, that we, you, you and your colleagues would also consider that um, despite the fact that a 7.5 assumed rate uh, has been in place, the actual returns on investment have exceeded that on an annualized basis almost forever. Uh, if you take a long-term 20-year horizon, if you take a 30-year horizon, the, the annualized actual rates of return have exceeded that. So whether last year, this year was 12 percent, whether next year is 1 percent, that's irrelevant to me. Short-term uh, returns are irrelevant. What's, what matters is the annualized long-term rate of return. And, and in fact, the funds um, have always exceeded the assumed rate so, um, on, on a long-term basis. So I would just urge your caution in um, trying to achieve sustainability, longer-term sustainability by manipulating the assumed rate of return. I think that um, there are other factors that need to be taken into account. There are other cost reductions that need to be uh, implemented, fee reductions and otherwise, that are also important steps uh, before jumping to the, the assumed rate of return as a vehicle to do that. So um, you'll probably hear this from both Mr. Kretz and myself more than once, um, but I do want to uh, at least get that on the table uh, as I uh, urge and I vote on your appointment. Uh, I appreciate that, Councilman. And, and I have to say that on the question of fees and other expenses, we've been extraordinarily aggressive in the last couple of years. I just finished my term as president of the commission, and, and, and I think we've been extraordinarily aggressive on that and will continue to be very aggressive on that, not just on that, but also on our expenses. Thank you, Thank you very much, sir. Mr. Bloomingfield. Great, thank you. Hi, Pedro. I'm sorry, I, I walked in a little bit late. I was in a meeting in the back, but so I didn't get to hear your presentation. But I just wanted to add my voice uh, of strong support. I've gotten to know you last couple of years and, and know your incredible credentials and, and appreciate that you give uh, your time and your expertise to the city in this way. Uh, so I just wanted to personally attest to that and to urge my colleagues for, for support for your reappointment. I appreciate that, Councilman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Now let's prepare to vote on this item. Madam Clerk, please open the roll. Close the roll. Now tabulate the vote. Fifteen ayes. That is approved. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Councilman.